Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Selenium Automation and Java Learning with Shini. This is Shini here and today we are going to start with a new tutorial series that's on Python. So if you're new to this channel, I would just recommend you all to subscribe to this channel. So here I'll be giving you all free training on different tools and technologies like Java, Selenium Automation Tool, Robotics Process Automation Tool. I'm going to start with Python Automations, Python Programming Language Series from today. And I'll be also uploading API automation series as well in future. So please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications. And if you have any queries or if you have any topics for which you would want me to prepare some videos, do send me an email at this particular email address or you could leave comments at my channel videos. So let's get started with today's agenda on Python language. So as we know, Python is a very good programming language, which is, uh, you know, available in the market today and it's completely free of cost it's completely free like how we have java c plus plus c it's completely free we just have to download it and we just have to use it for our purpose and it's having a lot of use today in each and every particular field which you see right python is having a lot of impact and a lot of application and usage so what is that all about python what is this first about all about python right so we are going to see a quick introduction about python in this particular tutorial session and also I'll be letting you all know how to install Python in your machine. And later on in our future tutorial series, we will be seeing how we can configure it with Eclipse as well. So Eclipse is the IDE which we have been using for Java programming. So we will be also using Eclipse for Python as well. Similarly, I will be also letting you all know how we can use other tools which are available in the market for Python, not just Eclipse. There are other standalone individual IDEs which are you know specialized to be used only for Python and which are more effective so we are going to see those tools also in our future lectures so let's get back onto the topic so what is Python here right and what are the features of Python so Python as we know it's a simple object oriented programming language so it's also object oriented programming language like C++ and Java it does have the similar oops concepts like class object right methods loops concept conditional statements everything is the same it's all oops concept only here only that we are changing some syntax as compared to java and c plus plus and making it dynamically interpreted so when i say dynamically interpreted what does it mean it means that we need not define any particular syntax like of a data type if i say in java int a equal to 10 so I'm explicitly giving the type of variable a as integer and assigning the value 10, right? But in Python, we would instead tell it a equal to 10 and there is no integer type given and there is no semicolon to end a statement in Java. Yes. So that's the major difference here. So there is no semicolon to end a statement in Python language and we will see such other differences as we go on into this tutorial series. Right, so it's a dynamically interpreted language. It will automatically find out on its own with the value being assigned, whether it should be an integer, whether it should be a short, whether it should be a long, whether it should be a double float. It will do all that on its own. So there is no particular complication about it. It's also called as a multi-purpose programming language. It's because it's not just assigned to be with respect to a particular area like web programming language or, you know, some other kind of a specific area like gaming it is across all the areas so when we look at the applications of python in a future slide you would be seeing as to how many areas this python is used today in the market and it does give a strong competition and also has gone ahead of java in terms of usage and in terms of effectiveness and also in terms of the libraries being used it's having a lot of rich libraries which are you know concise and which are like easy to use the second most important feature of Python is that it makes development and debugging very easy because there is no compilation step included in the development. So there is no kind of a compiler or a compilation step required for Python. Unlike as we require for Java, we need to compile, we have a dot class file, then we need to interpret the dot class file. That is the bytecode file using a Java interpreter, right? But in Python, we don't need to do that. We can simply run the program. There is no compilation step required here. So it, does make our development and debugging a very quick task. The next important point is it's easy and expressive. Yeah, so it's very easy and user-friendly language. 
so anyone can easily learn python if they aren't aware of any programming language as well still they can easily learn python from the scratch without much of any problems they just have to understand what is ooks first because of course it's a object oriented programming language and then go on to learn the syntax of python if few programmers already know c++ and java it might have a little bit of a confusion with respect to syntax when we try to learn python but believe me guys it's very easy and it's very adaptable as well i have been knowing other programming languages and it's for me i have been able to do practical part of all the languages in parallel so it's not difficult it just needs little practice and you would be able to remember the syntax as the time goes by so you just have to adapt to it so it's very user friendly and quick to learn next thing is it's portable so as we have with java similarly python is also portable we can have python code run across different operating system platforms like windows safari mac linux unix so it's portable most important feature about it is open source so it's free to use and it doesn't have any license cost involved so most of the organizations today they prefer to use python for developing the ui based applications or some they prefer to use java so the major reason for the same is that it because it's open source there is no license cost involved it saves a lot of money for the company it is having a lot of rich application libraries yeah and using these rich application libraries we can import those files we can use the features and the methods given in those python programs and just use in our code so it's very much you know effective and it makes a lot of our job easier and yeah so in python we use the extension .py so when we save the file we will not save it as .java or .txt or something like that right so it has a specific extension to be used it is .py so py represents the symbol for python right and the next feature is that we also can develop gui that is the web rich interface applications using python so these are some of the important features of python of course there are a lot of features and we can look at it as and when you know we start going over the tutorial series but for now these are the rich features which are available for python now let's look at the applications of python where all does it get used so we basically see its usage across multiple web applications like coco and even you can see some popular websites today like facebook google instagram many of those they use python because it's very fast in nature another thing is that desktop gui applications so it having it's having a tk gui library which is very popular so that is where python gets used today it is used in gaming arena to develop a lot of games in using python language we might have heard about this data science term a lot because it's like a statistical language data science so we have this scipy kind of a tool which is like a kind of a plugin or a tool which is using python so this is the area in statistics that is in data science it is also used in software development and testing as well so we can write a code in python and we can you know do unit testing and we can do functional modular testing using python it is also used in enterprise based applications like open erp and also in e-commerce it's also used in console based applications like ipython and also we use it in business applications like erp and audio or video based applications so these are some of the areas where python is used today so we will look into the next step today in our today's session that is how to install python in your machine yeah so it's not that difficult it's very simple we just have to go to this website so i'm just going to this website so i've already launched it here so when you load this website you will be able to see this button available just click on this button and you can see this particular python exe getting downloaded so let it get downloaded and you just have to allow it to completely download and once it is downloaded you have to double click on this exe file and it will start doing a series of installation steps so i have already installed it in my machine so it will just be a simple kind of a thing you just have to follow the protocols of standard settings whatever they are allowing us to be configured and just browse it at to which location you want your python files to get saved so i have saved it in my c drive so i'll just show you so i have saved it in my c drive if you could see here so this is the kind of folder which will be you know installed in your machine once python installation is completed and you can see these kind of libraries and this kind of folder getting saved so what you have to do is whatever location your python is installed 
just copy the path this path wherever this python folder is installed you have to go to this pc go to properties go to advanced system settings go to environment variables and here you could see there is a variable system variable called path just edit your existing variable or if you don't have a path variable already you can click on new and you can start mentioning the path of your python folder so i have already got some existing path values so i'm just going to click on edit so you could see there are a lot of uh, properties i've already got here so i have added python to this particular environment variable path here and i just have to say okay that's it so that sets the path of your python like you have java programming language similarly for python as well you require to set the path so once you have installed python you just have to just check it out whether python is successfully installed so you can go to your command prompt and just type python so as you could see for me i have downloaded the previous version not the latest one it is 3.6.3 but if you download the latest one you could see the version 3.7. I think it's three, yeah, three point seven point three getting downloaded in your system and shown in your command prompt. So this shows that Python is successfully installed in your machine, and you can start doing programming with Python. So in our next session, we are going to see how we can use the editors to do simple programming in Python. So stay tuned for that video, and with that video, you will be able to write a Python program and run it using either a command prompt or you can even run it using Eclipse. So I'll be showing that in my next session. So stay tuned and do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Thank you so much.